Did you know that women in the United States hold a staggering amount of debt? Behind these numbers are real stories, real families struggling to keep their heads above water. We're talking trillions of dollars here, and it's not just credit card debt, but student loans, mortgages, auto loans, you name it. Why are women disproportionately shouldering this burden? Trust me, it's not because we're out there buying too many shoes or handbags. There are deep-rooted systemic and societal factors at play, and it's time we bring them to light. Over the next few minutes, we're going to delve into the 10 key reasons why women are carrying more debt than ever before. And more importantly, we're going to talk about what you can do to take control of your financial future. Let's start with the elephant in the room, the gender pay gap. It's 2023, and women are still paid less than men for doing the same work. This gap accumulates over a lifetime. Less money earned means less money saved, less money invested, and ultimately, less financial security. It's a chasm, and it widens depending on your race and ethnicity. Women of color face an even greater disparity. This isn't just unfair. It's an economic crisis that impacts not just women, but their families and our society as a whole. And don't even get me started on the pink tax. Those everyday items marketed towards women that often cost more than their male counterparts. We need to demand pay equity, not just for ourselves, but for our daughters and granddaughters. It's time to close this gap once and for all. Now, let's talk about education. Women are now more likely to graduate from college than men, which is fantastic, but they're also more likely to take on student loan debt, and often in larger amounts. This is partly due to the gender pay gap we just discussed. If women are earning less, they need to borrow more to cover the same costs. Women are more likely to end up on income-driven repayment plans, which can extend the life of their loans and increase the total amount they repay over time. This means they're stuck with this debt for years, even decades, impacting their ability to buy a home, start a business, or even save for retirement. We need to find ways to make education more affordable for everyone, regardless of gender. This means addressing the rising cost of tuition, making college savings plans more accessible, providing more opportunities for scholarships, grants, and loan forgiveness programs is essential. Let's dive deeper into this student loan crisis. It's not just about the numbers, but the emotional and mental toll this debt takes on women. Imagine this, you're fresh out of college, full of dreams and aspirations, ready to take on the world. But then reality hits, and you're slammed with these monthly student loan payments. The stress is immense, and it impacts every aspect of their lives. Women are more likely to attend for-profit colleges, which often have higher tuition rates and lower graduation rates, leaving them with debt, but without the degree they need to secure a well-paying job. We need to reform the student loan system so it works for borrowers, not against them. This means lowering interest rates, making income-driven repayment plans more accessible, and providing more opportunities for loan forgiveness. Now, let's talk about single mothers. These incredible women are true superheroes, juggling work, childcare, and household responsibilities, often on their own. Single mothers are more likely to live in poverty than their married counterparts, and they often face a disproportionate burden of debt. This is due to a perfect storm of factors, including the gender pay gap, the high cost of childcare, and the lack of affordable housing. We need to do more to support single mothers both financially and emotionally. This means expanding access to affordable childcare, providing more job training and employment opportunities. Let's face it, women are often conditioned from a young age to be caregivers, to put the needs of others before their own. Women are more likely to take on debt to help family members, whether it's co-signing loans for a loved one, providing financial support to aging parents, or even covering unexpected medical expenses. While this comes from a place of love and loyalty, it can put their own financial security at risk. 
Women who take time out of the workforce to raise children often face a significant wage gap when they return. We need to recognize and value the unpaid labor that women do, both inside and outside the home. This means providing more support for working families, such as paid family leave, affordable child care, and flexible work arrangements. Now, let's talk about financial literacy. It's about understanding how money works, how to make informed financial decisions, and how to build a secure future for yourself and your loved ones. Sadly, many women weren't taught these essential skills growing up. This lack of financial literacy can have serious consequences, leading to poor financial decisions, overspending, and excessive debt. We need to empower women with the financial knowledge and skills they need to succeed. This means incorporating financial literacy into school curricula and providing more accessible financial education resources. Let's be honest, our healthcare system is broken and women often bear the brunt of its flaws. From higher premiums to more frequent doctor's visits, women often face higher healthcare costs than men. And let's not forget about the cost of reproductive health care, which can be a significant financial burden for many women. It's no surprise that medical debt is a leading cause of bankruptcy in the United States, and women are disproportionately impacted. We need to advocate for affordable, accessible health care for all. This means addressing the root causes of high health care costs, expanding insurance coverage, ensuring that everyone has access to the care they need, regardless of their ability to pay. Now, let's talk about the world of work. Women are still more likely to work part-time or in low-paying jobs, often due to family responsibilities. Part-time jobs often offer lower wages, fewer benefits, and limited opportunities for advancement. This means that many women are stuck in a cycle of low-wage work, making it incredibly difficult to get ahead financially. We need to create a work environment that supports women and families. This means promoting pay equity, providing affordable childcare options, and offering flexible work arrangements. Let's be real. We live in a society obsessed with image and consumption. From a young age, women are bombarded with messages telling them to look a certain way, dress a certain way, and buy certain products to feel accepted and worthy. The marketing industry knows how to tap into our insecurities, our fears, and our aspirations. This relentless pressure to consume can take a toll on our wallets and our self-esteem. We end up chasing after fleeting trends, accumulating debt, and feeling never enough. We need to reject this culture of consumerism and redefine what it means to be a woman of value. Let's focus on our inner qualities, our passions, and our contributions to the world. Now, let's talk about a difficult but important topic. Divorce. While it can be a fresh start for some, it can also have a significant financial impact, especially for women. Women often experience a decline in their standard of living after divorce due to factors such as the division of assets, the loss of spousal income, and the cost of raising children as a single parent. We need to ensure that women are treated fairly during the divorce process. This means seeking legal advice, understanding their financial rights, advocating for their fair share of assets and support is crucial. We've covered a lot of ground today, from the gender pay gap to the high cost of education to the societal pressures that impact women's finances. It's a lot to process, and you might be feeling overwhelmed. But don't despair. Remember, knowledge is power, and the first step to overcoming these challenges is understanding the forces at play. Once you understand the why behind your financial situation, you can start to take control and make positive changes. I want to hear from you. Share your experiences, your struggles, and your triumphs in the comments below. Let's create a supportive community where we can learn from each other, lift each other up, and empower each other to achieve financial freedom. And remember, there are resources available to help you navigate these challenges. Don't be afraid to reach out for support when you need it. Bye -bye.